um, more mountains of evidence released already. We didn't need more evidence, though, Laura. We really didn't. We've got the evidence. It's out there. We know that Biden's took tens of millions of dollars in bribes, right, from our foreign adversaries. We have emails, receipts, pictures, texts. Uh, you name it, uh, got tons of evidence from Hunter's laptop. We have witness testimony. Uh, so can we just do the impeachment vote already and send this to the Senate for trial? Because this looks like treason to Americans. This is something that should not be taken as lightly as it is. And for them to continue this false narrative that there is no such thing, there's no evidence out there, um, that part's got to be a little maddening. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing to see the yeah. lies and the way they just flow off the tongues of the Democrats yeah. so easily. I mean, we know that this is something they've done for a long time, lie to the American people. But especially in this instance, what is at stake is our national security. Mm -hmm. We don't know as American citizens whether the guy in the White House, God bless him, he doesn't know where he is half no. the time. But whether the decisions he's making as president of the United States, as commander in chief, are decisions based on what he thinks is best for our country or what's best for the pockets of the Biden family. We know that for decades, the Bidens have been essentially selling this country out. As you said, we have the proof. We have the evidence. We have the receipts. We have tons of it. And so, yes, I think go forward and take the vote for impeachment. My goodness, if they could formulate an impeachment against Donald J. Trump for a perfectly acceptable phone call to Ukraine, which, by the way, would have exposed a lot of what we're seeing come out about Joe Biden and his family right now, years ago, then we certainly should be able to take a vote on the Republican side and impeach Joe Biden.